I'm Jürgen Meyer H. from Berlin, architect, designer, artist. We are involved with projects that are very small scale, uh, residential, commercial, public spaces. We go all the way into urban planning schemes. We like to look at spaces as uh, possibility enablers. So if architecture can become an activator, catalyst to really make people engage with each other and with the environment, um, that's what I think is ideal that architecture can achieve. There's a certain curiosity where I feel we have to find a way that uh, is a production of architecture that uses the technology of today, um, where we see materials change, we see technology change, we see the digital coming into our environments, uh, into our you know, production uh, designing part and also the way we communicate. And I'm very curious to see how that will change the way we live. There is a lot of uh, challenges that we have when uh, you look at uh, clients and the way you have to find accomplice to really see architecture as an adventure into something that is unknown, that is a curiosity about um, what will create uh, the environment that we need to also leave for the next generation or produce for the next generations. Um, we of course have a lot of social um, issues that are at hand. We have to find other forms of cultural production, um, ways of engage uh, institutions with the everyday life and um, architecture is the mediator between those uh, realms. One important factor is that you always have to overcome and maybe ignore your prejudice, um, that you try to be open to new influences and that can be happening any moment right now. Again, just be open, be curious um, and try out, you know, risk. Um, to be safe is not a good place, it's actually um, better to try an er uh, trial and error and uh, see you know, what you learn out of these um, tests that you're doing. There are two ways that I see how we deal with materiality or like different structural solutions. Uh, sometimes there's a material that I find interesting or we find interesting, uh, for example the temperature sensitive paint and we try to see how that changes the way we uh, interact with our direct environment and our you know built context so we develop a project out of that materiality on the other hand we also and that's mostly the larger scale projects we look into the sculpture quality the atmosphere the environment that we want to create and then find the right um, technology to build that and that's when we need all the intelligence of um, our office, of course, um, engineers, specialists, we have to reach out and that's a, a, a process that is um, constantly like renegotiating what is the right fit and you know where we have to push the envelope of what is available and how we can actually start to become innovative uh, with new solutions. For example, the Seville project, which is a timber technology with a polyurethane encoding. Um, it's one of the largest bonding you know, technology projects, it's like a glued building. And all of that you know, only works if you have this uh, network of specialists that all like, try to make something happen that hasn't been there before.